Hi, good morning and welcome to the channel Walk in the Clouds with me. I am Raju Pillai and I am a customer engineer at Google Cloud. And though this channel is dedicated for cloud native uh, Kubernetes and app migration stories, um, I was working on something slightly different uh, with Google Maps. And I had a lot of fun doing that. I also found that uh, on the contrary to how complex it looks like, uh, Google Maps and its integration is fairly simple. So we will try to do some uh, cool animations today in the, with Google Maps JS library. And so without any further ado, let's get started. So the goals for today is to integrate Google Maps on HTML using JavaScript APIs. Google Maps is also available via TypeScript, uh, Java, PHP, and other languages. We will have to find a way to draw a track on which we want to move our vehicle. Uh, we will animate a delivery vehicle, you know, something similar to what you would see in a Dunzo or a Swiggy. Uh, we will also try to draw a path, which is called as a polyline uh, in Google Map. And finally, we will tweak both uh, some parameters of the map, like the zoom levels and uh, point of interest. So let's look at the high level step to implementing this use case. First step is to enable the Maps API. Maps is not free, so you would have to log in into your Google Cloud Console and enable the API just like the way you do it for any other API. We would also create an API key which will be used to call the API from the client, which is a HTML page here. Uh, we will create a track which is going to be a static track for the vehicle to traverse. It is called as a waypoint, which is a, a series of lat long positions on the map. Uh, that depicts a particular route. Um, we will create an HTML file um, and import this map API and then we will do the code. We will initialize the map with a certain parameters and we will place a marker on the start position on, on the map that we have chosen. We will also change the icon uh, image so that it reflects a scooter. But then we will start the journey and there is a bit of code here. We'll, I'll leave it for you to understand it later. Uh, as a vehicle moves forward, we will also draw a line using polyline for the path it has already traversed. We will optionally also tweak some of the parameters of the map, for example, a higher zoom level, and also removing or including a point of interest like the banks and um, the hospitals or the petrol pumps and those sort of milestones. We will finally tweak the speed and, and delay of the scooter to see how fast to slow the vehicle. To the Google Cloud Console, you can search for Maps API here and you come over here and enable the API. In my case, it's already enabled, but uh, you would see, you primarily have to see this API enabled. You, will, you can also see that there are many other uh, Maps API, but for our use case, we don't need this. Um, we can further, the second step is to generate an API key, and uh, you can do that thing from the console again, come to API and services, and uh, go to the credential section, and you can create any key from here. The third step is to draw a track along which our vehicle is gonna move. I found a very interesting website to help do this thing. It's called the National Marine Electronic Association. You could uh, you know, <clears throat> go to the point where you want, for example, I'm interested in India Gate, so I, okay. Delhi, yeah, okay, and uh, what I could do is, <clears throat> let's say I want to make my vehicle move along this path and I could choose for multi-point line and like this, I can plot my line. Now, obviously it needs to be very accurate so you can zoom them <clears throat> a little bit to see exact lat long positions. And then once you're done with this, you can uh, just download it, the coordinates from here, it will come in a CSV file, which you can then copy it into um, a method. So this is, this is the values that you get as a lat long position for the entire path. So the next step is to generate the HTML code and for that we will get into the VS code. And uh, the way we will include the Google Maps API is via this line in which we will add the API key that we had generated in the previous step. And after this, the next step is to Initialize the map. Now, this is the start point where we will provide certain parameters to the map. For example, a zoom level, I think it goes up to 24. 
you get 17. Um, the center of the map, this is not really the position, but the center position. So if the map is in any other lat long position, it will move, apply to this particular position. Map ID, the map ID can be satellite, terrain, our road map. So let's, because we want to move a bigger, longer road, so let's take road map as the view. Optionally, we can also give the point of interest, the visibility of which can be on and off. So by simply doing this, we should be able to get a map on the screen. So let's look at that. We will run it locally here, but then we run it. So as you can see right now, we have flown our map to a certain center position somewhere near Delhi. Um, India Gate is somewhere here. Uh, there we go. That's, that's India Gate. We want, let's drop in a uh, marker. So by enabling this, the marker comes in. But we want to replace this marker with our own uh, vehicle image, which is going to be like a scooter, uh, hopefully a transparent scooter, so I could find one here. So let's go and replace the, the icon here, and uh, you will see that it's got replaced with the, with the scooter. <clears throat> and uh, that's pretty much it. Now we are ready to make the vehicle move along the path that we have defined for it. And the way we would do that thing is by enabling this method which will start our journey and I'll walk you through the code a little bit later. So let's uh, save it and you will see that the vehicle has started to move. Now it is going through this path. If I expand it a little bit, you can see it's going, uh, obviously the, the zoom levels are high, so it appears as if it is going a little bit more fast, but place a marker, we have done that. Now we have also started the journey. We want to draw a line, so this is the of the vehicle. So we can do that thing by enabling the polyline thing. So let me just uncomment this and uncomment this as well and save it. And you will see that uh, the vehicle has now start to draw a line. And uh, let's increase the zoom a little bit more. So the reason it is going off the track is because I've not plotted the exact uh, uh, lat long using the NVIDIA uh, tool that we have shown otherwise. But uh, yeah, I mean you can you can accurately find those coordinates and then make, let's see if it actually travels as yeah so it, it sort of goes for the path that we have wanted it to go. And finally, let's. Uh, <coughs> And finally, let's go and uh, tweak some parameters, especially the zoom level, so that uh, we can see things more clearly. And also, we'll remove the point of interest so that it's, uh, it's not cluttered. And also, you know, increase the speed of uh, the vehicle. So, let's make it to 20, or maybe 19. So, as you can see that it's a little bit more clear and zoomed out. Let's change the zoom level from 17 to 19. Let's see the effect of this. We can see that the, the map is zoomed in and down. Um, it appears as if you know, the vehicle is moving fast, but it is uh, it's the same speed as before. Okay, we would also like to remove the <coughs> a lot of clutter that we have in terms of uh, a lot of point of interest. So there is this parameter here, uh, the visibility of point of interest. I'll make it off, and you will see that a lot of those things are now gone. So you don't no longer see a lot of. Markers 